we do welcome the Ukrainian investigation, which has been announced, but it is absolutely essential that there be a full, thorough, an impartial international investigation uh, which has full access to the site, to the debris, to the black box recorder and to any persons who may be able to assist uh, with uh, that investigation. Absolutely essential and we are working for a binding UN Security Council resolution uh, to this end. Uh, I can inform you that the Russian ambassador was called in in Sydney by Foreign Minister Bishop uh, and asked for a categoric assurance that Russia would fully cooperate with this investigation. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, uh, the initial response of the Russian ambassador was to blame Ukraine for this and I have to say that is deeply, deeply unsatisfactory. We all know uh, that there are problems in Ukraine. Uh, we also know uh, who is uh, very substantially to, to blame uh, for those problems. And the idea that uh, Russia can somehow uh, say that none of this has anything to do with them uh, because it happened in Ukrainian airspace, uh, frankly, does not stand up uh, to any serious scrutiny. I want to say to the Australian people that uh, as far as I am concerned, uh, when you have a situation uh, where Russian-backed rebels appear to have uh, killed Australians using, it may well turn out to be, a Russian-supplied heavy weaponry. Uh, Australia takes a very dim view indeed, uh, and we want the fullest possible investigation. Prime Minister, if President, if President Vladimir Putin doesn't help with his investigation, is he still welcome at the G20? Uh, that's a very fair question, Chris. It's a very, very fair question. Um, I don't want to preempt what might happen in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, I just want to say that it is absolutely imperative uh, if Russia is to maintain any international standing at all uh, that there be complete Russian cooperation with this. No prevarication, no excuses, no blame shifting, no protecting of people uh, who uh, may be backed by Russia, but who may have been involved in this terrible event. Well, based on what we're hearing from Russia, it's hard to have much confidence uh, that there will be uh, the kind of uh, open and honest and transparent cooperation that you'd expect. And this really is a, a test for Russia. It really is a test for Russia um, how transparent uh, and fair income is it going to be? Um, there can be no excuses, no buck passing, no blame shifting. Uh, there has to be absolute full cooperation uh, with uh, an impartial international inquiry. There will be uh, flags flying at half mast uh, across our country tomorrow. Uh, the Governor General and I will be attending a church service on Sunday. Uh, to show our respects to uh, the families of the dead, to honour the dead. Uh, and at some suitable time in the future, there will be a, a national service to mark this terrible event. But I do want to assure uh, the families of those who have died that our thoughts and prayers are with them. Uh, we bleed for them, we grieve for them and we will do everything we can to ensure that the perpetrators of this uh, are identified and as far as is humanly possible brought to justice.